Hey, Chris Hagan at the beach on Fort Myers, and I gotta tell you, everywhere I go, I mean, people are just absolutely awesome. We were walking along the beach, and uh, this gentleman stopped us, and he gave us these earrings for, for Linda. Uh, da, 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 there we go. And uh, let me give it back to you. So, so what's up again? You, you, okay. just, you stopped us at random. My wife walk, can't walk the beach much anymore. She's a bad back. She's, uh, she loves to do craft kind of things. So she sends me out every day to collect shells. And then I turn them over to her at night and she creates jewelry out of those shells like you just saw with Linda's earrings. And then she says, she's got a command, go out and give them away the next day to people that you think are, are appropriate and would enjoy them <laughs> and appreciate it. So that's what we do. We've done this for, I don't know, 10 years or more. 10 years. And now we, we expand that and uh, we do all kinds of things like that for people. We recently was a couple in uh, Tampa and they were clearly in love. It's just gorgeous to see. So we bought them dinner. Oh! And it was, so it was those kinds of things are just so rewarding. The, the, the giver gets, gets so much more than the recipient. You get those, but we get to see the smiles and the appreciation. It's wonderful. Yeah, but you're going through this part of your life trying to give something back. Yep. And, and you, you learn really fast. You get more than they get. Yep. Um, and that's for perfectly healthy yeah. people. You start doing stuff with people that have other issues because they feel so alone. So you got any more? Have you given them all away already? Uh, got some more in here. Oh, you've given away a bunch because yep. this bag was full about an hour ago. So we have uh, earrings, and this is a pendant. And so she painted. Yep, she paints it, and then uh, puts the uh, wrap on it. That is so cool. And it's just such a neat concept. You just walk around yep. and strike up the conversation. Yep. Here's a gift. Yep. And it's got your wife's name and yep. her cell phone on it, so yep. we can send her a, yep. a picture and right. everything that kind of completes the circle. Yeah, you're too young to remember. There used to be a uh, TV program called The Millionaire. Okay. And the objective of The Millionaire was Delaware. Bethany Beach, and I've never been to Delaware, and other than the president, uh, yeah. you're the only two people I know, and I've never okay. met the president. So. Well, we, uh, I was born in, in Delaware, raised there, went to college, went to Notre Dame. Okay, that's, then, that's uh, the Notre Dame yeah. hat, yeah. And then went to Indiana to get an MBA. Well, we're at okay. Indiana, we've been there. And then I, uh, my wife got a job, or my, my girlfriend at the time got a okay. job in California, so I interviewed with banks out there, I got a job in Long Officer in Beverly Hills. Okay. I stayed there three years, and I joined the DuPont company then. They moved me to Texas, and Louisiana, northern New Jersey, and then to Wilmington. And I spent the rest of my career in Wilmington. I had a career in a wonderful life in Charlotte. I've been married for 57 wonderful years. Uh, and it's, uh, I've been so blessed in so many ways. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, small, very good thing. Oh, it's, it's, it's awesome. awesome. It's awesome, because like I say, everywhere I go, I talk to these people. I, I've never actually given them anything to get them to talk to me yet. They've given me stuff to get away, but they've never actually... Uh, any kids or anything? We have three children, a son and two daughters, six okay. grandchildren, yeah. and uh, no great-grandchildren yet. Okay. Uh, I'm almost 83, and Sharon's almost 82, so okay. we're, we're, we still uh, play tennis a little bit, and yeah. uh, walk about uh, 10 miles a day on the beach. So. Well, so my, my, my mom and dad are in the, the building right over oh. there. Would you uh, want to pick, pick, pick something for, the, for her, your mother? Uh, yes, but we'll get to that in just a minute. <laughs> but they're, they're, you guys are basically the same age. My dad's yeah. 84, yeah. my mom turns okay. 81 here in a couple okay. of days. <clears throat> we, we are recently retired because Amazon put our business out of business. Ah, gotcha. So so we can't get Social Security any of that stuff because we're too young. But we got enough in savings. 
and people feel sorry for us and take us on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Buy all of our food. So all my, all my friends that watch is like, man, you're going everywhere. Yeah, but a lot of it's free. What business do you have? Uh, we owned a office supply store and a Hallmark Cards and Gifts okay. and a JCPenney catalog store. Okay. And over a 40-year period of time, we did probably well over probably about $110 million itself. Now, if we would have known it was going to ever end, I right. would have saved a lot of that money right. as opposed to... Right. But anyway, we're, we're okay. Uh, I find in life stuff like this. Walking on yeah. the beach is free. So once you get to the beach, yeah. uh, you get to talk to people yeah. and, and stuff. It's awesome. But you're 83 and you're walking 10 miles a day. Yeah. How many of your friends even made it to 83? And how many of them can walk 10 miles a day? In my tennis group at home, we have an 89-year-old. Yes. We have an 87-year-old, an 85-year-old, an 84-year-old. Okay. And then we have a bunch of young people in their 60s. Oh, <laughs> young whippers. That's exactly right. <laughs> but you know, I, I have a uh, Fitbit. And Fitbit. Yes. Yeah, I calculate my calculates. It monitors your number of miles and sends a report once a year. All right. So. So far, over five years, I've walked from the South Pole to the North Pole and walked back as far as Corpus Christi, Texas. Wow, okay. So, I'm, right. at, I'm about 12, 15,000 miles. So, and that keeps you young. I don't know about that, but you need interesting people like you. Well, and, uh, and, and you do, but, but the body in motion tends to stay in motion, and we work so hard, and I completely let myself go. <laughs> We were literally just talking about it, you know, McDonald's, fast food for breakfast, fast sure. food for lunch, fast right. food for supper, over a 30 year period of time. I'm not complaining, I never accidentally ate anything, but the past <laughs> uh, year we've been trying to get more yep. healthy and it's hard yep. to do that. Yep, yep. So. All right. Um, what is your... What is your uh, Facebook handle? So, uh, and I'll send it to your wife. Okay, but it's good. it's it's the, it's the Chris Hagen Experience. Okay. A bunch of people on our our Main Street area in Festus. Uh, one guy in particular, John Gilbert, who owns a bookstore, came up with the idea of me doing this. Yeah. I'm like, Oh uh, yeah, I can talk, and yeah. as long as I can find somebody to hold the camera, I, I can do that. So I started off where I was just promoting small business, right? And uh, then it's kind of evolved into right. to other things because we always love to travel, yeah, and you know, we always love meeting people and staying in touch with people and everything else. Because literally, when I mean, you just look on the beach, there's thousands of people. We can yeah. have this because you, yeah. you're doing this all day long. Yeah, I mean. Nobody tells you no, right? You, you yes. got to start the conversation. No, a, few, a few women have said that I don't wear jewelry, or I that's that's gold, and I wear silver, or vice versa. Okay. But, but by and large, I say we have ninety percent of people, or ninety-five percent, okay. are grateful for the yeah. uh, for the uh, offering. Yeah, and, so. and 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 I think that's great. It's inspirational that you say you took some people out to dinner. I still remember taking my grandparents out to yeah. dinner. Yeah, and they were mortified that we were paying for the food yeah but at the same time i, I would be walking through a grocery store and people would be hollering because yeah. my grandparents told them how their great grandchildren yeah. yeah. took Didn't that feel good it does and i and you got a hell of a lot more out of it than they well, did and again we did and i could not even begin to tell you how much money we spent right to take them out for doesn't something. matter it, the, the money was there right. for, uh, immaterial That's and it was right. probably a tax right <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go. Chris, great and, nice and, and I'm going to pick something out for All my right. wife here. But people are out everywhere, and life's wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Thank you for the camera work, Linda. <laughs>